Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen so. For Kano State, not be small tension. The tension high as uh, Kano Union, Labor Union, don't shut down government office, banks, power sector, all over the for the warning strike. They don't say they don't shut down things. So the matter is serious. Kano State now has serious tension. Everybody they behave themselves, they owe themselves, they understand, they behave themselves very well because they don't want, you know, make they call day in the midst of whether they call scapegoat. Nobody won't be scapegoat. Now say the TDB. You know, say labor don't give warning strike before say we say, you know, say this whole team we say government no more respond appropriately. So say they go they go take drastic action. No? But what, and the reason why they do so not saying that because now for their personal uh, personal thing, say person just they show itself for now because say Nigerians they suffer, they come on subsidy, they're not even planner. You know, people are sincerely truly suffering. You don't understand people they suffer. Honestly, now the truth are the thing, I don't like for you. People they suffer. Now just go the help people. People they are people, we get people they abroad. Now they they sense. I'm gonna sense more thing, you know. God they use it, they send. If not people they suffer, you know, people are just they wonder how people they cope, how people they manage. Now the truth are they tell you, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Serious tension in Kano State as labor union shut down government offices, banks, power sector. In warning strike, the Nigerian Labour Congress (NLC) Kaduna Kano State, I beg your pardon, chapter has shut down government offices, banks, and the power sector in the state in a warning strike. You see, and so against the re removal of well subsidy, Politics Nigeria reports the strike report that the strike, which began on Tuesday morning, was led by the state NLC vice chairman. Abdul Raf Rafiu told reporters that all government offices in the state were under lock and key and the banks and the power sector were also not operating. He said that they were also proceeding to the airport to ensure that no flight take off. The strike is in protest of the, of the continuous mass suffering, the impoverishment experience around the country occasioned by the fuel subsidy remover okay by the uh, remover the nlc has said that the removal of the subsidy will lead to a sharp increase in the price of petrol which will have a negative impact on the price of all that is going on currently today and the people are genuinely suffering for it the nigerian people are the ones suffering for this subsidy remover why the government is enjoying themselves, the people are suffering. NLC said the removal of the subsidy will lead to a sharp increase in price of fare, which is already happening. The strike is expected to continue on Wednesday. NLC said that it will review the situation on Wednesday and decide whether to continue or not. But for now, all states are also in this, and um, this is what is happening Currently, NLC are big on their position, saying enough is enough. We cannot uh, allow such to continue because we want a change. The people are suffering and we cannot be quiet and allow just a few individuals to benefit from what belongs to every one of us. Can you believe the government released the sum of uh, 5 billion naira to each state? But that is not even, that is not right. Because some states have a smaller percentage of population when compared to other states. Take for instance, take for instance, we have a state like, uh, say, Lagos, which, the, you know, they tell us is 22 million. And we have a state, for instance, like, um, like Bayesa, that we're talking about the south now. That state has, uh, let's say, 2 million, tops 3 million persons. Both are getting 5, 5 billion. Can you compare the ratio exactly? Then we also have, in let's look at the north, we have like Kano or Kaduna, which have a large percentage of people. Then we have also have a state like Taraba, which have a fewer number of people. So how do we, how do we reconcile all of this? How do we reconcile all of this? So these are some of the things that are happening and every single person is watching and paying attention to what is going on. And this is why NSC is coming out to say enough is enough. We're not going to sit back, fold our arms and allow 
okay, people to destroy this nation in their own way, in their own, you know, talking about leaving the country just to wallow in the hands of those who sincerely, truly speaking, do not have a iota of care with regards to what is going on in this government today. So when you look at it, it is really, it really calls for deep and serious attention for every one of us to focus okay for every one of us to focus and we need to understand that the issue at hand right now is that everybody needs to understand it okay everybody needs to understand it that the nation will 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 continue to bleed until something is done the nation will continue to bleed until something is done drastically to change the course of what is going on today okay uh, so it will we, we, you know we, we need to we need to arise Okay, we need to arise and ensure that things are done for the good and betterment of Nigerian people. And not just for a small few, like we have the Senate and House of Representative members who, honestly, sincerely speaking, do not care about what is happening to Nigerians. So these are some of the things that are happening and we all just need to ensure that, you know, we rise up to the occasion and we do all that is needed and necessary. You know, we rise up and we ensure that the truth is being dispensed. The issue now is that Nigerians, you know, we are waiting, we are anticipating the release of this, uh, you know, election tribunal, the results. We are all waiting for that result patiently. But we cannot, you know, we cannot, uh, we cannot rule out the fact that Nigerians have been, you know, we've been beaten and battered, okay, as a result of those who tell us they want to rule. But guess what? They have not ruled well. Okay, uh, we have no ruled well. Okay, uh -huh. so we just need to ensure that every single person is rising up and we are taking charge of our nation and bringing the nation to where it needs to be. You know, we need to bring the nation back into the right perspective, the right place, and we set the course back on track so that together we can make a lot of difference. There are a lot of things going on right now. And if any single person really wants, you know, this country, you know, uh, this country to become, you know, a, a, a real, you know, a real, a real uh, you know, thing for us, every one of us, we need to, you know, we need to ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, necessary to change the course of what is going on. Okay? So it is what it is. And everybody, you know, needs to ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible. Okay, to change the course of what is going on right now. So Nigerians, it is what it is, and um, we just need to ensure that we rise up. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.